What's good, YouTube? It's your boy DIY Kari coming back to you with another video. Excuse my voice. I am trying to get over a cold. That's why I sound this way. But I got to get these videos out to you guys. Thanks again for everybody watching, liking, comment, subscribing to the channel. Keep doing what you're doing. It's definitely helping. And make sure if you've got any questions, especially if I've missed something in the video and you want to know about it, just hit the comments below. I will definitely get back to you. But today we got a special shoe coming from the people over at goodkicks.ru. Today we are looking at an iconic shoe, in my opinion. A lot of people don't like it, but I love it. But before we get to that shoe, this is an informational video. This is my opinion only. Everything you hear from me is my opinion. And we're going to keep moving. Like I said, this is an iconic shoe. I'm going to start out with the box. Because I know a lot of people like boxes. I don't keep my boxes as you see behind me. But like I said, it's an icon. Kobe Bean Bryant. It's going to be the Nike Kobe 8 Pro Tro. This is my size, size 10 and a half. And because it's a 10 and a half, I had no choice but to get that because of Kobe. The shoes themselves are super snug. You can get true to size. But me personally, I wear devil socks when I play basketball. So I had to go up a half size. Kind of wish I would have went up to 11, but it is what it is. We're going to make it work. But these are going to be the shoes. Like I said, the Venus Beach Kobe 8s translucent outsole with the carbon fiber mid end lateral and this does come with the mid sole that's in the inside that's why it has a higher raised mid sole right here that's going to be the Nike React midsole slash insole definitely very comfortable just not used to it anymore but it's very comfortable on to the engineered <laughs> engineered mesh with that vintage beach color the tongue you see the kobe logo stitched under the tongue you got teal inside the shoe you got the orange back you got that logo that is not translucent but reflecting to the side you got the yellow swoosh working your way around you got the kobe signature into the Reflectant swoosh with a yellow border. Back to the front, you're gonna have the laces with the speckled orange, all yellow laces. Like I said, this is a perfect shoe. Only imperfection is gonna be right here, which is not a big deal. I can say the one thing I have had been paying attention to is glue marks and this one has no glue marks at all around the whole shoe. And there's no smell. Same thing with this one, no glue marks at all around the whole shoe. And then similar to the other one with the Kobe logo stitched in. I love that they went back to the OG OG tongue. I'm lost for words right now. OG tongue is thinner and this one is definitely a lot more flexible in my opinion. Y'all know if the OGs have the Pro Trolls have a thick tone, but 
they actually went back to the OG tone with these, which I love. Got the flat paint in the middle. Then you got the shiny paint where the signature is. Same thing with this side. And just in case I missed that, Kobe logo on the bottom of the midsole. And from what I hear, these are super grippy. So you will not slip and fall and bust your butt while you're playing. Or maybe you will. It just might happen to you. I don't know. And from what I heard also, out the box, these can be squeaky. But that doesn't bother me because I have mad shoes that are squeaky. So that's not a big deal to me. But all in all, good kicks definitely did a great job on these. There's no big imperfections at all. Other than that one tiny speck on the Nike check, that is it. And also you see the Kobe logo right there. And it's also on this side right there. Yeah, like I said, nothing bad to say about the shoe. Biggest thing I was paying attention to because I heard it was on a lot of the Kobe's that came out is blue marks, but I don't see none. There is no overrun anywhere on the shoe. Good Kicks did a really good job on these. Again, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I could have missed something. So don't hesitate to ask. I definitely respond to you. I know I said in the beginning, these are true size, which is very true. I just usually go up on my size, especially when it's basketball shoes, because I wear double socks. But if you just buying them to rock, get your um, true to size. Get your size that you usually wear any other shoe. But if you don't like your shoes being real snug when you're playing ball, go up a size, at least a half size. It's still going to be comfortable. But that's just my opinion because that's something I do. You can still rock true to size. But that is going to be it. Like I said, no imperfections, no smells, no nothing. Good kicks. Thank you again for sending these over for me to review. Really love them. Did a great job on them. But all in all, this is going to be your boy DIY Kari signing out. I got to try to save my voice for these other videos. Make sure y'all come back, like, comment, subscribe to this video subscribe to the channel ask what you got to ask in the comments i will definitely get back to you peace out